Iran's president Tuesday reiterated threats against Israel while marking the country's annual Army Day, though he stayed away from criticizing Saudi Arabia as Tehran seeks a detente with the kingdom. The comments by Ebrahim Raisi came as fighter jets and helicopters flew overhead in Tehran, and as Iranian submarines sailed across its waters during a ceremony carried live by state television. The day celebrates Iran's regular military, not its paramilitary revolutionary guard, whose expeditionary forces operate across the wider Middle East and aid Iranian allied militia groups like Lebanon's Hezbollah. The guard also routinely has tense encounters with the US Navy. Speaking at the ceremony, Raisi threatened Israel, which is suspected of carrying out a series of attacks targeting Iran since the collapse of its nuclear deal with world powers. Enemies, particularly the Zionist regime, has received the message that any tiny action against our country will prompt a harsh answer from the armed forces, which will accompany the destruction of Haifa and Tel Aviv, Razi said. Razi also reiterated a demand for the US to leave the Mideast. American policy since the Carter administration has viewed protection of the Persian Gulf region as crucial to securing global energy supplies. A fifth of the world's supply of oil passes through the Strait of Hormuz, the narrow mouth of the Persian Gulf. While not specifically naming Saudi Arabia, Razi did offer an olive branch in his remarks. The hand of our armed forces warmly shakes the hand of the regional nations that intend to create security in the region, the president said. In March, Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed to re-establish diplomatic relations and reopen embassies after seven years of tensions, a diplomatic agreement reached in China. In the time since, Saudi Arabia also has been involved in a prisoner swap with Yemen's Iranian-backed Houthi rebels, with hopes such a deal could see an end to that country's years-long proxy war. Meanwhile, in a show of strength, Iran's military put an array of weapons systems, including indigenously developed drones, on display Tuesday at a parade in Tehran to mark the National Army Day, Anadolu News Agency reports. The parade, attended by top political and military leaders, included units from the Army's ground force, Navy and Air Force and the presentation of fighter jets, helicopters, missiles and drones. More than 40 classes of fighter jets, including CK, Kauser, F-7, F-14, MiG-29 and Sukhoi jets and bombers performed aerial maneuvers during the parade. The displayed drones included Mohajer 6, Mohajer 4, Mohajer 2, Rod 85, Arash, Ababil 4, Ababil 5, Yasir, Karar, Kian 1, Kian 2, Omid, Come On 12, Come On, 22 and Sadek, as per state media. Mohajer 6, a single-engine multi-purpose drone, is capable of carrying a multispectral surveillance payload of up to four precision-guided munitions, according to military experts. Come on 22, the country's first wide-bodied unmanned combat drone, has a range of 3,000 kilometers and is capable of carrying up to 300 kilograms of explosives. Rod 85 is a remotely piloted suicide drone designed for electronic warfare, while Arash is a suicide and anti-radar drone known to have the longest range among suicide drones possessed by Iran. Like Mohajer, Ababil is a single-engine combat reconnaissance drone equipped with bombs and missiles.
Yasser is a light tactical surveillance drone and Karar is a jet-powered recce and attack drone. Kian, unveiled in September 2019, is an unmanned drone that can travel more than 1,000 kilometers, while Omid, similar to the Israeli Harop drone, was seen in action for the first time in last year's annual army parade. Sadek is a combat drone that was first unveiled in April 2016. Among the indigenous missile systems displayed during Tuesday's parade include Damavond, which is capable of intercepting and destroying various types of aircraft as well as cruise and ballistic missiles. Addressing the parade on Tuesday, President Ebrahim Raisi warned that any slightest action by Israel against his country would see the destruction of Haifa and Tel Aviv. He said the Army Day sends a message of peace and friendship for countries in the region, but warns that extra-regional forces must leave the region as soon as possible, referring to the U.S. This year's military parade came amid Iran's growing tensions with both the U.S. and Israel, amid a stalemate in the 2015 nuclear deal talks and recent strikes targeting IRGC members in Syria. Facing Western developed sanctions, Iran has, in recent years, the capability to produce its own weapons systems, making significant progress, particularly in the drone industry. In January, Iran's armed forces held large-scale military drills in the country's waters, using homegrown drones including Arash, Babar, and Ababil to hit simulated targets at the seacoast. <laughs>